okay dear students let us see what is there in this question now uh, the water flows at the rate of 50 kilojoule uh, kg per second not kilojoule i'm sorry for that the velocity is 32 meter per second into a hydroelectric turbine if the power output of the turbine is 20 kilowatt what is its efficiency my dear students this is a very typical question i would say it pertains to the motion of a fluid and we have different formulations for this so this kind of particular questions become very very important for us because this theory is not present in our books so that is why this becomes important and i'm going to tell you the background theory for this also so what is happening here is like there is a conduit here or there is a tube we can say and there is this uh, big fan here so this is uh, basically turbine this is how we show it so the wind is flowing here or the fluid is flowing like the water is flowing with the velocity v and the cross-sectional area here is capital a so the density of the fluid is also given as uh, rho so what do we do in these kind of questions so uh, the formula for the kinetic energy is half into m into v square and this is energy it's not power it's energy but the problem is we need a constant value for the mass but the, the mass is not constant it is flowing so there is a rate of flow as it is written water flows at a rate so rate of flow is there so we call it dm by dt or delta m by d delta m by delta t or whatever so if you you are good with calculus you can use dm by dt so dm by dt is given so it means that we need to divide this equation by time so energy divided by time becomes power so that will give you the formula for the power so here i can write it as de divided by dt or the power will be given by half dm by dt i've just divided m by t velocity is not a variable so i'm keeping it as v only so our formula becomes v squared by 2 into dm by dt now as per our question is concerned because the rate of flow of water is already given we can uh, move further with this formulation but there is another formula that i want to give you and what is that so this formula becomes so dm by dt has a certain value that is rho a v half into rho into a into v square where rho is the density of the fluid v is the velocity with which the fluid is flowing so this is a very important formula dear students you have to remember this i have solved some questions which have been asked by iv previous years in which this formulation is used but this is not present in any of our topic in the book so that is why you need to note this thing okay so now i am coming back to our question i am going to use this formula now so our power input will be given by half v square into dm by dt which becomes velocity is 32 square into dm by dt is 50 kg per second all the units are si so we can just calculate without any problem so this has to be calculated so it will be 32 into 32 divided by 2 into 50 that is coming out to be 25 600 watt joule per second so you can call it 25.6 kilowatt but the power output as given in the question is 20 so what is the efficiency now we know the efficiency formula is power output divided by power input into 100 and that is what we are supposed to find so what is the power output the power output is 20 kilowatt just a moment please so the power output is 20 kilowatt and the power input is 25.6 into 100 and the units in the numerator and the denominator are absolutely same kilowatt so we need not to multiply thousand now this we have to calculate so it will be 20 divided by 25.6 into 100 so our efficiency is coming out to be 78.125 percent so this is the efficiency of our turbine 
So my dear students, this is how we do this question. This is a very typical question, I would say, 